This is another historical experiment. We use it to demonstrate that electrons have a particle-like nature. First of all, we need to create a high voltage, which we have over here. The spark gap on the top is just that if the voltage gets too high, then the electrons will jump across. And every now and again, you may hear the spark jumping. That's applying a high voltage between two terminals on this evacuated glass chamber. At this end, we have the electrons coming in, being attracted to the positive Maltese cross in the middle. The only trouble is that some of them won't hit the Maltese cross and be collected to go back into the circuit. They'll continue on to the end here. At the end of the tube, we've got a phosphor. If electrons hit the phosphor, then it glows a nice green color. And you can see the shadow of the Maltese cross on the front. Now, if you want to come in a little bit closer, or perhaps I could even turn it around so you can see. We've got the nice sharp edges of the Maltese cross, the shadow, the electron shadow, the electrons that are hitting it are being absorbed, the electrons that miss it are coming onto the phosphor, and so that you can see, therefore, the electrons have to have a particle-like nature. And that was what they concluded from this experiment. There must be a little bit of gas in the tube because you can see down at the collection area the gas is being ionized and glowing slightly. So it's not a perfect vacuum, there is a little bit of gas in there. So a nice simple demonstration. <laughs>